Good day all. Welcome back. Uh, I feel fresh today since I went out on a Wednesday this week as well. It is a Thursday. I'm out solo like I am most Thursdays. And I'm back in southwest Sheffield. So this used to be called, uh, I have it on good authority, the Abbeydale Road Run, uh, which used to go all the way from this, this Abbeydale Road south where I am now, all the way up into the, the bottom of the southwest side of the city centre. Obviously over the years, lots of things change, don't they? Lots of pubs go. Uh, but lots of good little craft beer bars and things have popped up, apparently. So it is still technically the Abbeydale Run, although Abbeydale Road, when you get up there, turns into London Road. So it's not 100% correct to call it Abbeydale Road, because it is goes into London Road, but you get the gist of where I am. That's what I'm doing today. It's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Southwest Sheffield normally has a great mix of old, historic, beautiful looking pubs, very much like the first one I'm going to go in today, and modern craft beer bars. So really, it's my sort of heaven uh, of, a, of a way of doing a pub crawl. This. So my first stop of the day then is on Abbeydale Road South, right at the, the base. I'm going to have to go up the road, get to the top and turn around and come back because as usual, you got it, it's the opening hours that conspire against me. A lot of them don't have until four or five. So it's just gone quarter past 12. Uh, I'm starting at this, this one, the Wagon and Horses, which looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? That really does look like an absolutely stunning place to start. I told you, some of the, the old historic looking ones mixed in with the craft beer bars. It's gonna be a good day, I can tell. So start number one then, the Wagon and Horses. This place is stunning. What a beautiful place to start. It's obviously sometimes it it's just it's just beautiful inside the stonework and stuff. It is gorgeous. Decent lineup on beers uh, as well, with quite a bit of craft. That round corner I really do like. Abbeydale, I think I'm going to see a lot of Abbeydale beers around today. One from Thornbridge. I've gone with this because I've never heard of Atom, so I've gone with that Quantum State, which looks quite nice, uh, and some good ale choices and bits on as well. So yeah, what a what a good place to start. Should just look in public. <laughs> Looks absolutely brilliant. They're obviously having some work done up the, the far end and stuff as well. But yeah, very, very impressive start. Absolutely brilliant way to start, that was. Well, I wasn't necessarily expecting that to be quite as good as it was, uh, being all the way down here on the run. And no one had actually mentioned it, but they really should have, because I was very impressed. Stop two then on the route towards the city centre is Robin Hood. Done quite a few Robin Hoods uh, now. Not sure there's, I've done many that are more beautiful on the outside than that though. And it is, as you can see, an Ember Inns. You know what you're getting with Ember Inns. Uh, they're always solid, the food's always good. Beer choices are, are usually plentiful. So yeah, excited for this one as stop two. All Embers, it's, uh, it's a decent looking pub. Uh, nice little place. Five ales and stuff on the bar. Uh, and a decent side. Uh, landlady's not the friendliest. Uh, so she definitely needs to learn a few manners. But aside from that, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful looking pub, like all the Embers are. Uh, only about 100 yards or so uh, to walk down from the rock. So another beautiful looking one called the Mill Houses, your outstanding local, it says. Nice little beer garden space. Uh, I'm, ha I'm happy that the weather is holding out thus far, although I don't speak too soon. Uh, for sitting around a week away from November, I'm doing all right so far. So the Mill Houses then will be stop number three. Brilliant little pub. Um, lovely looking little gal. Oh, decent bits on. So, Jaipur Blonde and South Island Solitaire on the hand pulls. Uh, lovely looking place. Pool table screens all around. Yeah, nice. Uh, I get what I mean. Yeah, you're outstanding local. This is definitely a locals pub. And it's pretty outstanding. Got many, uh, the Solitaire South Island. Nice. A New Zealand Pale. Decent tip, all that. Right, stop four is a beautiful looking. So, Broadfield Hotel. So, I'm having to do them in the order that they're, they're kind of open because uh, a lot of the time, uh, a lot of these don't open very early. So, coming up for one o'clock, be my fourth stop of the day, uh, and it's Broadfield Hotel. And from the exterior of that, I absolutely love it already. Is quarter past one too early to start on the eight percent dipper that they've got on the bar in here from Verdum? Answer. Nope, it's never too early. Honestly, this place is mega, love it. Uh, I did resist the temptation to go for the 11.5 uh, uh, caramel fudge stout. So well done me. You know, give me a pat on the back for something at least, for thinking quite well for once. But no, the beer choices in here are absolutely brilliant. And that, uh, that dipper, as you always get with Verdant, you knew that the Verdant one would be exceptional, and it is. Give me some credit for not going for the 11.5 fudge stout this time, eh? I have already had to walk past them absolute belters so far today. 
I'm really looking for so I'm gonna to have to get to the top I'm gonna to have to turn around and come back down the road uh, to do them but yeah there are some absolute beautiful places uh, along this road uh, if you do this run on a Saturday obviously I'm doing it on a Thursday this run on a Saturday I assume everything would be open uh, from lunchtime so you probably have a, an easier ride of it than I'm doing so my video doesn't necessarily make sense you'll have to see it in reverse order for some of it but honestly this this run of pubs uh, and things along here are absolutely beautiful. We'll just walk past the old, uh, the old picture house, uh, as you can see there in the, in the top of the screen. That thing with the dome on the top looks absolutely beautiful. Shame they doesn't look like they're doing anything with it at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. But I've come up next for now, then, to Turner's Bottle and Tap because this one is open now, as you can see. So this will be my fifth stop of the day. I don't know how anything's going to top the Crawford. I thought that was a, that's a 10 out of 10 place, absolutely loved it. But uh, a bottle and tap shop, well, a, a tap and bottle shop. Wow, you can tell I had that 8% dipper in there, can't you? <laughs> a bottle shop and tap room right on my street. So Turner's is stop five. To be honest, we knew that a tap room and bottle shop was going to really float my boat, didn't we? And it does. Uh, Rob, the, the owner that runs this place, he's, he's a lovely chap. Uh, and they've got an absolute wealth uh, choices in here, whether it be whether it be cans, bottles, all the stuff. So I haven't even shown you the stuff on the uh, other thing yet. Uh, yeah, I, I might have invested in a few more cans to take home, which will really, really please my wife, as you can imagine, as it does most of the time when I go. Um, but I could spend, I could spend forever in here, and I could spend a fortune in here more so than I, I have already. But yeah, you, you know, I often end up taking far too much home with me that I don't have time to drink because I'm not at home ever because I'm out doing this so that you guys can see what a beautiful place they are but look so eight taps in here as well um, good taps as well I've gone for the C-bomb I'm not allowed to drop the C-bomb on YouTube they tried to ban my video so I thought I'd uh, at least have a drink of it by the way it's a great little tap room super little place uh, and more it's actually open at the time when I want to walk past them. so you know it's win-win 100% win-win for me absolutely love it in here top top place so still wandering up towards the towards the city center before i turn around and head back uh, and this one looks an absolute beaut yeah, the old the old tile in on that's so the old crown in so i'm pretty near the top of uh, abbeydale road area now this abbeydale road run i assume this would be what you would uh, you would call the top so the old crown in is the next one up yeah i love i love all those with the old tile in on the front like that it looks particularly beautiful from the outside my sixth stop of the day uh my seventh stop on my list was going to be stack lab uh, which is next door to it but that looks very much uh that's very much a lost pub isn't it that uh i can't see the thing on the door from here obviously but yeah that uh, i would imagine that probably now won't be stop seven but anyway let's concentrate on stop six for now which is the old crown inn it's a, it's a little old course pub, there's, uh, there's not much beer wise to roam about, no ales on, uh, it's Guinness, Cruz Campo, Carling, Don Smith, Strongbow, stuff like that on the bar, but so, that's a little bar, so it's got the history uh, behind it and stuff, uh, and it goes further down out there to the, to the other side, but no beer wise, uh, not, not anything to write home about sadly, but you know, we were going to encounter ones that weren't all craft beery today, weren't we? Back in the pub as well, so that's the DJ and live music set up, uh, and that's the back side of the bar. On we move, six down. Dax uh, definitely isn't open, but less than 100 yards. It's Barry's Bar. Barry's is obviously an old pub, and it uh, does Jamaican cuisine. Drinks on offer every day. I have a feeling I know what this one is going to look like or be like inside. But you know, we don't miss anything. So Barry's Bar is up next. Let's call it a while. Uh, it's got red stripe on. I've had a red stripe for ages, and I do love a red stripe. Uh, obviously, being a Jamaican food offering place, that fits in perfectly well, having a red stripe on the bar, doesn't it? So, well happy uh, finding myself a red stripe. And it's a cool little place, look. Pool table, friendly, welcoming vibe, Jamaican food. What's not to like about it? I love places like this. Super little chap that runs that uh, Jamaican bar. Uh, lovely, lovely fella. Sometimes it's nice chatting with people who've come over and it's been there 25 years. Some achievement, that, isn't it? 25 years. Uh, so that, again, uh, another great looking pub that people have said, so Albion Stansel Brewery Tap, but isn't open yet. So we're gonna have to carry on walking up here. There's one called the Clubhouse somewhere up here uh, that should theoretically be open now. So we're gonna go in search of that. Interesting looking buildings. As you walk up towards Sheffield City Centre though. So let's see if we can find this uh, Clubhouse, which should be open. 
Ah, I think I can see it just up there. And then once it gets to that, it's turning round and going back. So let's hope the time I've done the clubhouse, the Albion's open, but I'm not holding that much hope. So yeah, it wasn't far up. Okay, there's my Premier Inn for tonight. So that is the where the city centre loop starts. I'm not going to cross the city centre loop uh, because I'm going to do that in a separate video again. So the clubhouse will be my furthest point of call up this road to the city centre. So let's get the clubhouse done. Interesting looking building from the outside, isn't it? Let's get that done. Uh, and then we can start working our way back down the road past some of those other beauties. I wasn't necessarily expecting to find some males in here. Uh, I have found some, so I'm happy with that. So uh, a nice looking gaff all around this. Big space, pool table, yeah, nice big space. Let's, uh, let's get an ale. Infinity from Shiny Brewery. I know Shiny Brewery very, very well, very close to, to where I live, the, the Derby Bay. Yeah, Affinity. Let's go try that. That's always with Shiny. I'm impressed. Uh, two weeks ago, I came and did Eckersall Road on the southwest side of the city centre. Uh, but I didn't make it up as far as the Weatherspoons. So, we just have got about 40 minutes to kill before the beer engine uh, and the Albion open at this end of the town before I start on my way back the other way. I think a perfect opportunity to walk six minutes over to the top end of Eckersall Road uh, and just do, just tick off the Weatherspoons. I was called the Sheaf Island, just here. Uh, very modern looking spoons, this, on the, uh, on the bottom of some rather plush looking accommodation. So we might as well do the Sheaf Island. But hopefully we've done this, we can get back to the beer engine. Be four o'clock, that'll be opening, and we can start working our way the other way. So Sheaf Island is my stop number nine of the day. This one, it feels quite modern inside. The, uh, the entrance, the stone entrance, uh, was the former brewer tower, the Wards. Uh, Wards well-known brewery, just out of there. So that's a, a little bit of history for you. Carpet's decent. Uh, it's, it, it, does, it feels very modern, spacious, like looking spoons, gaff, but uh, I've gone for Goff's Brew. I've never heard of Goff's Brew, but it's, what, it's called White Night and it's all right. It's a, it's a pale, it's, it's decent enough. Friendly spoons. Glad I popped over and got it ticked off because it would have been one that was nagging me not to have done before. So onwards, hopefully now, by the time I get back to the beer engine, it'll be four, it'll be open. Well, that is a, a modern uh, thing. It used to be the site of a brewery and it's nice that they've kept the old gates. It was Ward's Brewery. Many years ago, you come through the gates down there and it would have been just here. So although it is, yeah, a modern feeling, uh, it's nice that they've, they've kept the, the heritage of it and the, and the old Ward's Brewery gates in it. I am a few minutes early, but the great news is they're open a few minutes early. So this is why I didn't want to miss the beer engine. Sat here, right, yeah, right, literally right at the top. Uh, not far from where the clubhouse is, across the road. So doing Weatherspoons has paid dividends because it means I can now not miss this out because this definitely sounds like my streets, doesn't it? So should open at four. Luckily at five to four, it's already open. So the beer engine is my 10th stop of the day. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I'm mega chuffed. Mega chuffed that I stayed around because if I'd have missed this, I would have been angry at myself. And I know that several of you would have been angry at me as well because the amount of hate I get when I don't go somewhere because, uh, because of different things. But I mean, some of, the, some of the breweries on here. So I've gone with this, look. So I'm at the Hedgehog, a rhubarb and raspberry sour at 6%. I'm very impressed by it as well. But beer choices in here are fantastic. There's no other way of putting it. And it is a wicked, wicked little place. See, I love a craft beer bar. This is right up there with the best. What a super looking little place. Once again, cheers for the shout outs. And I stayed around for the beer engine, to be honest. Uh, I've been told not to miss it. And I didn't, you know, I did it. I, I stuck around. Despite my better judgment, because I know there's a long way down to go back down this road. But now I'm walking back away from the city centre then. Uh, for the rest of the day, it's away from the city. But a couple of minutes ago, didn't we? we saw that the Albion was shut. It's now gone four o'clock and the Albion has its front door open. So we can do this and we can start moving down that way, back down, away from the city and try and tick off this whole Abbeydale Road vibe because honestly, it's such a good place for drinking this. So the Albion is stop 11 uh, and hopefully my buddy Trevor Power is gonna meet me here for one or two. Super beer life. So it is obviously Stansel Brewery's uh, tap room. What an absolute super lineup of both cask and keg stuff from Stansel Brewery. So I'm gonna go with a treason, half a treason. Never having had any of their beers before that I'm aware of. So yeah, I'm gonna go with half a treason. Sounds right up my street. Spiced Yorkshire parking porter. We'll try that, I think. What a great little place. Again, glad I, glad I stuck around at this end of town to get in. Heading back down then. So they, they do all appear to be open now, which they should be. Next one is the Cremone, Cremone, I don't know, Cremone. 
Let's say, uh, on this corner, say, a busy junction. I only come about 100, 100 yards or so from that way. So the Cremone, I'm going to call it Cremone, is my 12th stop of the day. I did get to see Trevor and his, uh, his wife, Helen, stopped in to see me for a quick one in the last one. I'm very impressed by that. Stansall Brewery, uh, the treason porter I had, was very, very nice as well. So, well worth having hung around for and waited up at that end for that. But yeah, so next then, here's the Cremone. Right, glad to be in. Yeah, you're alright, thank you, but yeah. Great to be in here. So, as somebody said, on the Abbey Dale Road, you would expect to find a lot of, and I haven't found that many Abbey Dale beers so far, but I've gone for the exception here because I've never tried that one before. So I thought I would try that, but I haven't actually seen as many Abbey Dale beers on as I expected to find throughout my route today. This is a, the, the, those leather seats are wicked. Great little, uh, great little lower space as well. Great little pub this. So again, yeah, it's, it's well worth making sure you do catch all of the ones along this road, uh, no matter what time the opening hours are. Make sure you do catch them. If you go up and down like I have, happy days still, because they're worth doing. Right, opposite side of the road from where I was then, walking back down, comes to Jabberwocky. Uh, looks open now. The lights, there's certainly lights on. There weren't earlier when I won a pass. So that will be, I think it's stop 13. Oh, today so far, a few people have shouted this out and said I will like it, so let's go in and see. I get it. Uh, you like know what I'll like and what I won't like, and I do I very much like it. So good, uh, good choice of stuff, whether it be casks, ciders, lagers, however. Reasonably priced uh, as well. And uh, yeah, decent, uh, decent stuff. So I have gone with the cloud water, pineapple and lime breeze. You know, can't resist the fruit sour. Pool table and stuff in here. Nice, nice looking little bar, nice looking little gaff. I like it. I, I'm very impressed. So again, uh, yeah, it's just a shame it didn't open earlier. Well, it's not easy because I'm walking back down, but yeah, if it had been open earlier, I would have been here sooner. But it's, no, it's a nice gaff. I'm kind of walking around in a loop now to get down, but I, I, I want to try and hit an even 20 today, and I was going to be on 19 when I get back down the bottom, so I figured, what, like a slight detour and include the Golden Lion. So it doesn't, it's not quite on Bramall Lane where Sheffield United ground is, uh, but it is on the way. So I could have done it on that run, but I want to hit 20 today. So this will hopefully get me to that point. So this is 14, it'll be the Golden Lion. And it is down a yeah, little side street just off uh, Abbey Dale Road. It's a sweet little local space, obviously it's Sheffield United, but I don't say. I'm a lot closer to Bramall Lane than I like to be as a Forest fan. We were leaving with three points. <laughs> You know, um, but no, it's a, it's a nice, isn't it? it's a nice, friendly little gaff. So uh, yeah, not much arrive about beer wise, but it's a football park. Uh, it's dog friendly, some lovely doggos uh, and stuff in it, and yeah, pleased to get it ticked. I think the, one of the best ways of describing what's left to do down Abbeydale Road on my way back down is quirky, because there are some quirky named, quirky themes, quirky looking places that I walked past earlier that I was definitely looking forward to getting back into. Uh, none more so perhaps than the bear. So obviously that's, that's like a little old house or a little old shop, maybe set on the, set on the edge of, so it's having a road and, and a housing a bit just there. But is the bear is stop 15 of my day. And it says the bear beer emporium. You know me, I love a good beer emporium. A great little craft beer bar. So they're in a bit of a takeover from Bayonet Brewing. So I've never, I've never served on a bayonet, but I mean I steered clear of that uh, casual little site because I know how strong that is. That is a, that's a 12 percenter, so keep that away from me at all costs this evening because I've got a lot of stuff to do. But I've just, uh, I've just sampled this Delta Lima 6 and I'm very, very impressed by it. There's a wealth, again, of wonderful can uh, and, and bottle offerings in it. It's a great, it's a great little place. Super, super little vibe in here. Uh, we love this. The, the guy running the place is uh, a lovely guy. It's a, it's a brilliant, it's a brilliant little bar. This. Uh, so that's what I've got the, uh, the bayonet. It's not friendly again. Oh, sorry, mum. I'm knocking at the people so I walk past. But yeah, a little bit, a little bit seating around the back as well if you want a, a little bit of a quieter space. But yeah, what a, what a cool, what a cool little place. You know I love a craft beer bar. This is epic. Little tap takeover is going on. So Alex, the guy sitting there in the, in the hat. He's uh, he's the guy. He's the guy from Bayonet Brewing. So he's doing a little talk on there. They're sampling some of their beers. Uh, so that uh, DL6, so it's named after uh, basically North Allison's where the brewery is. DL6 is their postcode, so Delta Lima 6 is where the beer comes from. Uh, very, very impressive. Very nice chap, very knowledgeable, uh, very passionate about his stuff. This this place is absolutely phenomenal. I'm very, very impressed to buy it. Uh, honestly, I wish I was staying in there to, to sample some more of the beers, to be fair. But, you know, uh, work comes first, so we have to carry on doing what we're doing. But 
they are, yeah, the Bear is a superb little place, uh, and definitely check out Bayonet Brewing because I, I think they're they're on the they're going to be on the rise. They're, they're one to look out for. So I probably didn't need to go and do the Golden Lion to make it to 20 because I've just spotted something I didn't know was there called Rum Keg RK876. I assume 876 refers to the number on the road that it possibly is. I don't know, but yeah, Rum Keg 876 RK876 is just there next to what is would have been my next stop, Dead Donkey. So I might as well head over and do. Uh, Rum keg first. Yeah, in for a penny, in for a pound, eh? What do I say? Like, don't hate the player, hate the game. So this is a, this is a proper a little like a, a, a Caribbean cocktail bar. I love things like that. And you know, I've had a lot of beer. You know, I was here. So it gives me the opportunity to have a little palate cleanser. Don't hate the player, hate the game. A Malibu and pineapple juice. There is never a bad time to have a Malibu and pineapple juice. Trust me on that one. And this. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. This is a beautiful one. Great little, I'm, honestly, I'm well, I'm well pleased that I stumbled uh, across this because I love, I love little places. And this chap behind the bar is absolute salt of the earth, sterling fella. Glad to stop him. I was, I was told I wasn't allowed to leave until I've had a Bob Marley shot. Honestly, look, look at the cut. Look at that. That is Jamaica personified in a shot glass right there, isn't it? That is, uh, you are, you're a bad man. Yeah. You're a bad man. Is this, is this you? This is me and you. Me and you. Bob Marley. What's your name, brother? Dale. Yeah, man. Junior, Dale. Yeah, man. We, yeah, man. Run, we run things. Yeah, man. We That's run it. things. I like it. Bob Marley. Here we go. There we go. Oh, no woman, no cry. Woo! Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Bells him. What a man. What a man. What a place. Come and check this out. Tell you, Junior. Junior's a bad man. <laughs> that was really nice. I don't know why that was in that. But that Bob Marley shot, I would come down and ask them at Rum Keg for a Bob Marley shot because that was pretty nice. Next door, Dead Donkey. So this would have been my, uh, my stop before Rum Keg, but I'm so pleased, honestly. I'm so glad that I stopped in that because this is not one that I knew about, not what anyone has said about. And I love the place. Absolutely love the place. So Dead Donkey next door is one that I've been told about. So it is my, I want to say 17 now. 17 of the day, Dead Donkey. Loved it. Google tells me it's less than a minute's walk to walk to the Abbeydale Tap. So, put it to the test, shall we? I'm going. 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 25. Well, uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, classical glass frog. Google Maps is right. It is right. The Abbeydale Tap. Uh, good looking little micro. So yeah, Abbeydale Road. Uh, you expect me to say casting keg. Abbeydale Tap is up next. Uh, Found a, found a beer and a brewery. I've never heard of it. It's so strawb uh, by Farmyard Brew. So it's a strawberry wheat beer. Uh, you know what? It's a strawberry wheat beer. It isn't necessarily something like I would ever have necessarily so go for. But I'm glad it is. It's actually nice. Good, good looking little gaff again. Good looking little bar. Nice to, uh, nice to do it. But don't necessarily judge a beer by its description. Strawb. Strawberry wheat beer. I could be converted. When I walk back past this side, uh, I show you. No, it's, uh, this is a tragedy, honestly. That this is sat empty. Look at that. An absolutely beautiful and amazing building to just be sat there looking like that, left to decay. So I apparently did have a speakeasy bar looking at it at one time in there, but yeah, what an absolute travesty not to have filled that with something because. Yeah, that's a that's a beautiful building. That uh, I mean, that's yeah, Abbeydale Picture House. So I'm on the way to Picture House Social, which I think is just at the back of it. In fact, here's a set of sign. So again, yeah, not necessarily in the in the main part of it, from what we see, unless it is, unless I'm mistaken. But it's right here. So maybe it is right on the back then. Picture House Social. So let's hope that I'm wrong. And this actually does showcase some of that in there. Picture our social up next. I've just found a beer called uh, Puns of Anarchy, and I couldn't be happier. Hold on. So, so it's also from Kenham Island Brewery. So I love Kenham Island up in Sheffield. But yeah, 4.5% chocolate stout. Look, Puns of Anarchy. Oh, what's not to love? Uh, good selection of stuff in here. I've also got a quiz gearing that they're gearing up for. It's, we're on the lower floor, so. Yeah, I wouldn't say they're necessarily utilising the, the upper bit, but it's nice to see something in here is actually got a little bit of stuff going on. So, tons of anarchy chocolate stout. Cheers. Come back up from the underground bunker. That must have been the old like, talent entrance into the, into the thing. It's, it's underground, but wicked play. I'm glad that there is part of it at least being used. So that is, that's 
that is a little saving grace. It's 20 yards, 20 yards to Barra Boy. This is going to be my penultimate stop of the night, I feel. Uh, I've done a lot, uh, it feels, today. One more, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's two thirds I've got to get to, so doing that. Then, taxi, some food, taxi to the hotel, and get me a, get me a video edited, so. Barra Boy, penultimate stop. One thing I have found along this thing time is everything's cheap, so I went for a single popper in Diet Coke in it. And this is, this is quite a swanky looking, it's a little cocktail type bar, does pizzas and things. It's, it's, it's quite a nice looking little gaff. So single vodka and dark coconut. What's your got Four pounds. Four pounds. That's, that's rock, that's, that's dirty to me. A couple of, uh, couple of salt offering. Uh, beer wise on the back with Peroni, Asahi and Aspals, things like that. But it's a, it's, a, it's a really friendly, really decent little place. Yeah, surely, a, a vodka and dark coconut for four quid in a, in a place like this. For me, for me, that feels that feels very, very cheap. Very, very good value. Thought that it, I had one to do and I was done, but no, it's two to do, because there's one of the corner there, I think, called Teller, just there, it looks like. So I'll, I probably will do that at last. But what I thought was gonna be my last, but isn't my last, and my, this is actually now my penultimate, it will be two thirds beer co. So yeah, this is one that I was very, very excited about getting into, very happy to, uh, to be going in. So let's get that done. This is stop 20, I think it's 21, might be 22 of the day. And I will go into that teller. So two thirds up next. And I'm here, yeah, I'm, I'm only happy to be in here, but this road is so long. Yeah, in all honesty, I'm, I'm a massive, massive fan. Uh, there's, a, there's a wealth of, I'm gonna nip these, these things, so I'm gonna nip behind the, uh, I'm nip behind the bar, so I'm gonna spin you along the, uh, the stuff on offer in here. So yeah, burden on, I've gone for that Lurvig in it because I've never had that house pie. It's very, very good. Very, very nice. So it is a, uh, a brilliant little place, this. I'm a, I'm a massive believer in anything that looks as beautiful as this. And the, the, the chap runner, he's a, he's a lovely fella. What a great looking game. Yeah, and it's a super place. Well pleased to be. Great little gaff. Right, next, uh, next one is definitely my last of the night and it's literally next door so it's literally next door to two thirds it's called the teller <sighs> i uh yeah it's, it's been a long day i think it's 22 that's a decent day isn't it 22 stops in a in a day is a is a decent innings so let's go on and see what the teller's like and we'll have a chat on the outside Whew, good place to finish yeah i'm happy to uh i'm happy to end end my uh foray down in so yeah, it's from uh Right. It's a good, uh, it's a good merch. And yeah, so, uh, some proper, some proper good Simers, uh, Zidane, Ronaldo, all sorts around. So yeah, it's good. Cool. I finish. I'm done. Uh, I finished on Jack Daniels and Coke. This is who like my Jack Daniels, as you know. So it is. Uh, well, it's really done for me for tonight. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Make sure you hit subscribe. And I'll see you somewhere over in Willenhall.